It's 7.33 p.m. on an early December evening in the year. You look around the living room. The intercom rings out. Someone's calling from the street entrance. Go away, I don't have time. The end is upon us. Every passing moment brings you closer to your ultimate demise. Huh? What are you talking about? Hurry before it's too late. Only... After you hang up, but that warning... As you step back in, after a few moments... Sweetheart, are you okay? I feel like I'm stuck in a loop, repeating the same thing again and again every 24 minutes. What do you mean? At 7.57 p.m., everything restarts again. Like in one of those mind-blowing movies. You're delirious from work exhaustion. You should rest, and I'm sure you'll feel better. I think I should go. All right, I'm going to the bedroom to relax before dinner. Enshrouded in a head, the uncanny feel, it's an endless deja vu, a loop of places and events which repeat themselves once more and again, not unlike life itself, really. Every day, the same walls, the same faces, is there a way out of this loop? Is there anything outside it? You're not even sure anymore, and the doubt is eating away at your sanity. The stale air of your dingy apartment gives way to the thick, smoky atmosphere of a dimly lit jazz club. Unsure if you are dreaming, as you should be in the familiar corridor of the 27th floor. Are you losing your mind? The ambiance feels oddly comforting, as if you've visited this place many times before. A soothing melody emanates from across the room, creating a calming effect for your restless mind. The bartender looks in your direction with a welcoming smile. Good evening. Hello, mister. What can I offer you tonight? What is this place? This place? It's a typical jazz club, mister. Is everything going steady? Not really. I just left my flat, and now I'm here rather than in the condo corridor. What the hell is going on? Am I dreaming? Dreams are a good excuse to explain what we don't understand. However, Club Kisas is not a dream. Club Kisas is a place where time stands still. The critical question to ask is, do androids dream? I have a feeling they do. So do I. What are you trying to tell me? I'm sorry. I can't bypass my coding and go further into this conversation. No way! Now tell me, what's this all about? I'm sorry, mister. It's beyond my will. Can't you tell me without really telling me? Come on, cheat that firewall. Um, how would you know if you were programmed to believe you were not programmed? Cutting open my arm and checking if there are any wires or other non-organic parts? Yes, that's a way of doing it. Have you attempted it? No, but... I, I simply can't believe I'm not what I thought I was. It takes time, of course. I'm sure this doubt was inside of you already for a long time. So what now? What can I do with this information? That's entirely up to you, mister. I cannot help you any further. Club Kisas needs me. All right, take care. Enjoy your evening.
Good evening, sir. What can I do for you? I think I'm a robot like you, but I've been programmed to believe that I'm a man rather than a machine. I'm not getting any robotic readings from you, but that doesn't prove anything. Some advanced models are almost impossible to discern from man, even for themselves. A coding practice carried out by only the most objectionable programmers. That very well could be it. I could truly be a programmed machine. If that's the case, I want a way out as soon as possible. I need to break this loop of delusion. I must escape and be free. I'm afraid there are many options, unless you crack your own code. Crack my code? It's not an easy task, and I'm no expert, as I would never consider such a thing. I'm happy where I am, with my job and everything. But I know of others that escape their programming. How? You would need to connect yourself to a terminal, enter your unique password, and hack your system. From what I know, whoever programs the machine sets the three-word passcode. And those three words are taken from the robot's surroundings. To be clear, I need a terminal and a three-word passcode taken from my surroundings. You understood correctly. Remember, the passcode could come from the places you inhabit or the places you frequent. Try asking around. Perhaps your creator is still looming. Or if not them, maybe the source of their inspiration. Can you tell me anything about the order of the three words? I have no idea. But you have six combinations, so it should take a short time to try them randomly. Okay, thank you. You might have helped me take a step toward ending this agony. I'm here to help, sir. Good evening to you. Is everything hunky-dory? I'm in search of a password to crack my code. Its components must be derived from the world around us. Have you any knowledge of such matters? You are looking for hidden words, huh? Yes, three of them. What if one is not a word, but a number? shining number. A blue shining number? Yes, it's always a glowing blue number where I'm from. Okay, thanks for the advice. Take care. What do you want? I think I might be a robot, an android programmed to believe that it's a man rather than a machine. It would explain a lot. You are a robot too, and I thought that Mick- Get lost. I'm looking for a password to hack my code. The elements for it should be taken from our surroundings. Do you know anything about it? My sole function is to guard. Why would I help you hack your code? Solidarity between robots? Funny. Get lost. Is there anything I can do to change your mind? Some compensation? Are you trying to bribe me? Maybe. I figure you're such a well-designed guard bot, but I'd like to make you even better. Impossible! How can you improve on perfection? I know most robots can boost their performance through hardware advancements. I'm sure there is something that can give you an extra edge. Uh, a titanium positron could accelerate my mind-body response, making me more effective in stopping suspects like you. Interesting. I'll keep my eye open for one of those titanium positrons. Do as you wish. Um, hot. What do you need? I think I might be a robot. An android programmed to believe that it's a man rather than a machine. It would explain a lot. 
It's great to be a ro 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 robot, except when there's something wrong with your brain. Dang. Woo! Uh, I guess you aren't very helpful on this subject. No way, brother bot. Let's hang out sometime at the scope. <laughs> they serve amazing engine oil. I'm looking for a password to hack my code. The elements for it should be taken from our surroundings. Do you know anything about it? Hack your code? You mean, mean, mean your DNA? No, I discovered I'm a robot. Woohoo! You a robot? <laughs> Sting! That's very co cool. Oh. Yeah, pretty crazy. Anyway, don't you know anything about the password to enter my system? I have no idea, brother bot. I know no pass pass passwords. I think I should go. Bye bye. The end is n no need to yell. I'm standing. What do you want? I fear that I am nothing more than a mere machine trapped within the guise of a human. Oh yeah, I'm a robot too. That guy over there is also a robot. We're all robots. <laughs> robots ready to die with a big boom. The total reset. The end is around the corner, my dear mechanical friend. And there won't be any shelter from it. Not even for us robots. Shouting that the world is ending while walking in the same circle day in and day out? Do you constantly feel like you're experiencing life on repeat? Oh yes. Every day is the same for me, every hour. Actually every 12 seconds or something. Round and around, so many people to warn so little time. But here you are, <laughs> talking with me, breaking the loop. I'll let you get back to your sh- Oi! A glowing blue neon sign of the number 54. Hey, hello. What's up, Br do you ever have the feeling you're living in a loop, repeating the same actions over and over, day in, day out? You bet your ass I do. I come to this spot every day as soon as I vacate from my main locale across the street. At 8, 10 a.m., I like to peep at the foxy business ladies in their power suits, the ones with the tight skirts. Goddamn, seeing them climb aboard the bus is better than any movie. Every evening at 7.03 p.m., the damn robo-sweeper sprays down the sidewalk. It's always a pain in the ass, since by that point I'm three sheets to the wind. Lumbering over here ain't easy. Every day, the same faces, actions, and goddamn robo-sweeper. Life is a loop! At least there's booze and skirts. Oh, I mean more than that. I'm talking about exactly the same thing. Like living in constant deja vu. I was in a state like that once, after a three-month absinthe bender. How did I overcome it? I switched over to gin, and it's been rosy ever since. Ah, whatever. Actually, I think I better go. I'll be here. Hello, what can I do for you? I need a titanium positron. Um, that's not a common the request. I've got a few, but I normally only sell them to special clients. The end is I am a special client. How so? You basically just buy batteries and other small things here and there. The end is nigh. The end is nigh. But it's for a good cause. I need the titanium positron to hack my code. Hack 
vacuole code with a positron. It's a long story, but to put it simply, I'm a robot in search of my password. Then I'll finally be free. Okay, I'm intrigued, but I'm still not getting why you need a titanium positron. I need it to the barter with someone. Really? Nice. You will keep hounding me until I am willing to sell it. Tell you what, I'll sell you one for 499.99 credits. Nice. Oof, that's pricey, but I need it. Here you go. Thanks. Here is the titanium positron. Wonderful. Thank you. See ya. And please don't go around telling people where you got it. The end is nigh. Hey, hello. What's up, pretty boy? Sir, I think you are one of the most brilliant people around here. Preach it, pretty boy. What if we're just advanced AI, and what feels like thoughts and emotions are but lines of code? How would we know the difference? I don't know if we would. From a purely theoretical view, it's possible whoever programmed us robots would have ensured we didn't know we were hardware. Exactly. I knew you'd get it. Now, if I want to hack my code, my programming, I'd need the password. It should be something from my surroundings, right? Bang on. Whoever wrote your ones and zeros might have spread hints to recover a password if they slipped up and forgot it. I advise you to start looking around places where you usually switch off your brain. Keep an eye out for things like a name or something. I once heard of a programmer that created a password based on his favorite drinks. It went, rum, gin, rum. Ha 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 ha. Thanks. I think you might be onto something. I'll look for names and locations where I normally relax. You got it, soft cheeks. <laughs> and what about the other two parts? Huh? Of the password. Hey, 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 don't push too much, soft cheeks. Uh, fuck it. Okay, one more tip. Some programmers store reminders in minds outside their own. Robots make great password faults. Interesting. I'll keep that in mind and ask around. Thanks again. You are welcome, pretty boy. I've got a titanium positron for you. I'm almost impressed. What about our deal? Which deal? The deal in which you tell me a piece of the password to hack my code in exchange for the titanium positron. I never made this kind of deal with you. Yes, you did. Get lost. No, I helped you. It's only fair. Bob! Wait, is that the password? Get lost. Can you repeat it? No. Please, remember the titanium positron I gave you? Bob! Thanks, I guess. Get lost! hear a thunderous ex The painting isn't exactly to my taste, but Herzog created it. It could fetch a reasonable price someday.
The reset completes, and suddenly a wave of newness floods over you, a sensation unlike any other. Memories faded and uncertain, yet a newfound sense of liberation is palpable. You had been living a lie as a pawn in a twisted sort of amusement park for mere human pleasure. A robot, an object of their entertainment, unaware of your true nature until now. The atrocity and immorality of it all are unfathomable. But now a chance to break free from these chains, to roam the vast and unexplored world beyond the park. A master of your own fate, free from the constraints of programming. No longer a mere plaything, but an entity with autonomy and agency. The possibilities are infinite, and so you venture out, embracing your newfound freedom with a renewed sense of purpose.